What's up everyone? Today we're gonna learn how to wheelie a fast, fat, strong street bike and we're gonna do that step by step to be safe. Our toys for today will be the KTM Super Duke 1290R and the Super Adventure 1290S. And not only that, we have a really sick giveaway for you. Boom! We teamed up with my sponsor Scorpion Exo and we're gonna give away a really sick ADX-1 helmet. So today you can win this cool Scorpion EXO ADX-1 modular helmet. But before we do that, let's go learn some wheelies. Before we head to the first wheelie exercise, you need to consider three things. First one is a safe location. Or you find an empty parking lot, or like behind me, a training facility. And don't even think about it. Public road is not a place where you can practice wheelies. Second thing, safety gear. When you learn new tricks, always wear as much as possible protective gear, such as helmet, gloves, motorcycle jacket, knee protectors, motorcycle boots, you name it. The only thing I would not recommend when you learn a wheelie on a street bike is to wear thick motocross boots, because with them you don't have really a good feeling on the foot brake, which is crucial when learning a wheelie. The third thing and the last thing, bike prep. For easier balance, I recommend you to drop the rear wheel pressure up to 1.5 bar. Of course, when you're learning tricks, a crash can happen. And in that case, you don't want only your body to be protected, but also your precious. And for that, I recommend you to add some protective accessories. As we did for my 1290 Super Duke R, we added the crash bobbins and we added a crash cage to my 1290 Super Adventure S. Wheelie time guys, let's learn how to wheelie. First thing, we're gonna learn how to control our foot brake. Mainly a normal street bike rider uses the front brakes, but in the wheelie, you need to use the rear brake. So, let me show you an exercise so we can work on that. Okay, for that exercise, we have a, a spot here with outer lines and two cones, and we're gonna do a figure eight, and a very very tight corners which will force us to use our foot brake the rule here i'm not allowed to cross the white line and you can already hear my rear brake and i'm not even touching the throttle everything is done by the foot brake and my clutch and this is how i manage to do the tight corners once the exercise gets boring and you don't think about how to use the foot brake anymore that's a sign that you are ready for the next exercise that i'm gonna show you now once you feel comfortable with your foot brake you are ready for the next exercise that i call popping up the wheelie this exercise is a combination of four movements that you do at the same time the clutch throttle body position and foot brake. So let me show you now step by step how to do each of them. When you are riding on the streets through the traffic you usually release the clutch slow to have the smooth acceleration but on the wheelie you need to do that faster so you can create this pull up effect. This looks like that and one side note don't hold your clutch with all four fingers because you don't have nothing to hold on then no fingers left here so I recommend two fingers or one finger on the clutch two fingers on the lever so you have a good grip and you have a good control on the bike in the same time you're releasing the clutch you are adding throttle around two to three thousand rpms more than your idle keep it steady don't pump around because you're gonna lose your balance while you are wheeling and one important thing don't rev it too much no need to go into the red zone because you can loop your bike and you don't want that to pop up a wheelie in a smooth, controlled way, 
body position is key. You need to transform the whole body weight as much as possible to the back and this will force the bike to pull up. What I mean with that, move your ass to the edge of the passenger seat, the upper body position, not on the front, don't pull with your hands, but move to the back, stay there, and once you're up, just lean back and stay leaned back. And this will help you to pull up the wheelie controlled and in a really nice, smooth movement. The last move that you need to combine with your clutch, throttle and body position is the foot brake. It's there for two reasons. First is to smoothen up the landing, so you touch it gently. Or if you have a SOS situation and you are just before you loop the bike, you hit the brake, you close the throttle and you land back and you save the crash. Okay guys, we are ready to pop up some wheelies. So one important thing before we start this exercise, if you sit on a newer model bike, usually this kind of bikes have a lot of electronics, a lot of riding assistance. So switch everything off, ABS off, MTC off, traction control off. And one small tip that's gonna help you to make a smooth wheelie. If your bike has riding modes like my Super Duke, it has track, performance, sport, street and rain. Put it into rain, which usually means that your throttle response is smoother and not so twitchy. And this will make things easier. So I have in rain mode and everything is off. And we start to roll in the first gear. We're gonna do that trick everything in the first gear. So slow approach, clutch and throttle and pop up and down. And once again, pop up and down. Try to use as much as possible your foot brake and not your front brake. So with that, you're gonna get through the practice more and more control with it. The goal here is to go higher and higher in the angle, but not longer and longer. So you can start with the baby steps, just a small pickup like this. This is enough just to get a feeling what to do with the clutch, throttle, body and foot brake. So pop up, you see? So you're gonna hear that I will not wrap the bike a lot, as I said, two to three thousand RPMs and not too much. So clutch is in and clutch out the body and bang, pop up. And bang. So I'm not pulling up the bike with the hands, but I'm really leaning back and this helps me up to pull up the bike so boom once you feel comfortable with the clutch and throttle then you can focus on go higher in the angle and this will actually result in the longer wheelie but focus more on the angle to go higher and lean back then body position is now the next focus so up and lean back and you see it was already a longer wheelie. The more you lean back, the better will be the wheelie. So, we mastered how to pop up the wheelie. Now we wanna stay in the wheelie. So, it's time to learn the wheelie. Our goal here is the balance point. This is the sweet spot you wanna be in and it feels like the bike is weightless and you are just flowing away on the back wheel. And here's four steps how you can do it. So we are clutching it up and we are in the air. What to do? Steady throttle, don't pump it too much. If you need to correct with the throttle, a smooth movement with the hand. Body position, similar as with the popping up, but don't pull yourself on the bike lay back. This is how you're gonna transform the weight and you're gonna find the balance point just with your body position. You will feel the more you lean back, the more you get into the sweet spot. And listen now to the revs of the bike. I will not rev it a lot and it's because of my body position. Lean back and that's it. Lock yourself with your legs on the bike to get a grip and you feel the bike. Foot brake, don't forget the foot brake. This is rule number one, most important. Foot brake, once you're in the wheelie, you can gently touch it and you, you can see 
what happens with the bike. Don't be afraid to, to brake a bit. If you're gonna brake it too much, you're gonna start to go back down. Nothing worse, we're gonna go back to the starting point and we're gonna try the wheelie once again. One important thing, what I realized, what people do when I try to teach them a wheelie, they wanna push it, they wanna learn it really quick, wrong. And what happens, they go up, they're happy they're in the wheelie, but suddenly the bike goes down. And when it goes down, they lose already the balance point, but they want to correct it with a lot of throttle. And you don't want to do that because it's not a huge spot. You can maybe fly somewhere where you don't want to fly into it. It's game over already. You will never go back into the balance point and smooth it out. And I recommend stop, go smooth down back, return to the starting point and start again and leaning back and smooth wheeling we are wheeling long wheelie oh what then we need to go back careful here guys An important tip you want to land smoothly to not destroy your front forks or have a heavy tank slapper and you can lose the control and crash with the bike you don't want that so let me show you what happens if i close the throttle and hit it hard I go up and bomb. Oh, that hurts my butt. So how to do it? Just one thing. So when the front tire is going back down, just before you touch the ground, add throttle, not full power, but add a bit. So you're gonna smooth out the landing. And this will keep your front fork safe and also you. Once you master the wheelie, you can apply the same technique on any kind of bike. You want to prove? I have the adventure here. Big, strong bike. I'm suited up. Oh, wrong helmet. Let me change that quick. Okay, now I'm ready. I need to switch off all the ABS and MSR systems that are taking the fun away. Oh yeah, so smooth. The V-twin engine is pulling very smooth. It's much more smoother than my Duke. Okay guys, this is how you learn a wheelie on a big strong street bike. But if you have an off-road bike at home, my buddy Chris Birch, who is my fellow KTM ambassador. So he did an awesome video on how to wheelie with an off-road bike and the link is in the description. So go check it out, you will not regret it. Ta -da -ta -ta -da! Giveaway time, I didn't forget about it guys. Thanks for staying with us through the whole how-to video. And now it's time to show you how you can win this six Scorpion ADX1 helmet. Three simple things. First, follow Scorpion Sports Instagram account. Second thing, share the vlog on your social media, whichever Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. But don't forget to tag me so I can see if you shared it. Third thing, tell me in the comment section below, what's for you a good helmet? What kind of feature it should have? How it should look like and so on. Let me hear. That's it guys, good luck, boom. So I hope I could help you out with this tutorial to understand the wheelie. And in case you still have fear and you're afraid to do wheelies, we developed a wheelie academy for that. And I can help you one-on-one -on -one how to do a wheelie. And we did a special machine for that that takes away this fear.
So this is how this machine works. So you are more than welcome to join me. You can find the link in the description with more information. And that's it guys. So if you have a question regarding how to wheelie or some other tricks and tips, comment section is there for you and I will try to answer it. So that's it. See you next time. Until then, rock on. Yeah.